Welp Aiden, Dying Light. It looks like you got the Spider-Man treatment. It looks like you got the Ratchet and Clank treatment from last year. Showing no love to you. Do you hear me, Aiden? I'm, Aiden, I'm talking to you. You got no love this year. Not one ounce. Not even a nomination. And it's sad to see, but I can see why. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy X here. While I was in this video, I just kept thinking and stuff. If you guys saw, I literally just I just did my my picks for the for the, the nominees and stuff that got revealed for, for for the game of the year. It didn't dawn on me until after sitting back and saying and and, and re-looking through all the categories and say I never, I never saw once Dying Light 2 in the category. Not one single category. In 30 categories. This game wasn't in one of them. And I'm just like, was it really that bad? Did I remember it? Was it really that bad? I know the story was not great at all. Like, like the writing in that game was completely the the story to me besides Aiden as uh, um at, besides Aiden as like the as like the voice acting everything else was forgettable the characters were forgettable like the story I did not enjoy it was like the weakest part of the game and stuff the gameplay was the highest point and stuff but I was like damn like I really feel bad because this was another anticipated game for me for this year, in the beginning of the year, before Elder Ring, before God of War Ragnarok, before Horizon For Forbidden West, so before all those great games came out, Dying Light 2 came out, and I was looking forward to it, but I guess it didn't really pick up the steam as the first one did and stuff. Yeah, so I just want to get my thoughts and my curious thoughts. Just I mean, just just a question, just a, a discussion and stuff. So if you guys want to join me in this discussion to see why Dying Light Two just got buried completely, like have a funeral service, put the dirt on it, put the flowers on it, and then just say your goodbyes because this game literally got the Spider-Man treatment. It got the Ratchet and Clank treatment, and now another game to the list and stuff. And it's sad to say, because this game could have been so much more, but it just failed in so many ways and stuff. But if you guys do enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure you've been the channel so, 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 so much. And let's talk to, and let's talk about Dying Light 2. So, as you guys know, yes, this is the Steelbook case uh, edition. As you know, I did buy the collector's edition for this game earlier this year. You guys saw my unboxing on the channel. This thing is still sealed. It's the it's the like it's like the art book that, that I got and stuff. I gotta say the collector's edition for the Dying Light 2 was my favorite collector collector's edition that I have ever gotten. Even better than the than the Ragnarok collector's edition that I just got and the box and stuff. The stuff that I got in here with the statue that's over there and the, and the little flashlight and stuff really like the like the detail and the map and stuff. I I enjoyed this unboxing more than the Last of Us Two one, and 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 the and the, the God War Ragnarok on one, but. The game as a whole and stuff. Now I gotta say I was very looking forward to this game and stuff. Like before um, riding the rock and stuff uh, and, and, and all that. Being a, a mega fan of the uh, of the first one, and I've been rocking with Techland since the the original Dead Island. Does anybody does anybody remember that franchise? Dead Island Two is finally coming out after like 10, 10 years and stuff, but. The original Dead Island was one of my favorite zombie post-apocalyptic games and stuff. I remember playing that and stuff. 
back in the day that it was so fun it's like, and it was new for like the zon like the, the zombie um genre and it was so popular because it's like we never saw that before like so like detailed and stuff like damn like zombies on the island like shoot and stuff so they probably they paved the way to it and stuff now that i don't like rip ties eh. no that i don't ties it, it, it was okay and stuff like that but it wasn't like the first one but then they came out with the game dying light and it took everything by storm i fell in love with it they've been they supported that game for years like they like seven years and stuff like it was crazy when that game came out it does it does so many new stuff it broke barriers for the zombie genre because now like having all these mechanics especially the, the the main mechanic was the nighttime mechanic and so many other zombie games you you, you can go out at night and don't have to worry about it stuff like that you know the, the zombies are still the same strength and stuff like that but in dying light you can't do that you can the designers get stronger and you have these more basically like super effective that co only come out at night and stuff because you know that no no they get no they are affected by the uv sunlight but they don't come out at night now you can't just go outside now you can't just go explore carelessly you have to be careful or these things will hunt you down and kill you and stuff and that's what made dying light literally appealed to so many people was the nighttime aspect of it that during the day yes you're the shit and stuff you know you, you you can kill anything you want but at nighttime you you got to pick your battles or something like that and you got it and if you want to go out at night you got make, make sure that you're ready and stuff because they will come after you and that's the thing i love because i never saw that before that you become the hunted at night so it's that the hunter during the day and so many fans love it and stuff so many you know they ever was pacing the game up and down and stuff even though the, the story was weak you no know, kyle crane and stuff i remember the story did get to side and yes to me that the story wasn't you know that good i i enjoyed it for the most part but the voice acting was terrible um but the biggest thing that took dying light to a new height was the parkour system never saw that before and so literally put a parkour uh, post-apocalyptic zombie game sign me up like the parkour movement was it, it was groundbreaking and stuff and they blended it it, 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 it blended it, 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 it blended into to, to the combat system and the nighttime uh mechanic aspect so i was like yes this th th this is the one but then when we heard two was getting announced now this game has was, was delayed so many times and stuff, so many times and stuff. It was delayed and and and, and for a long time we never heard about it. And it was like, is, is Dying Light Two coming out and stuff? But Dying Light Two came out, Stay Human, and it was a letdown. I already did a whole review on it. It was a letdown. It was a completely letdown except for the story, from the design of the world. Which was yeah, it was bigger, and the the parkour system was the shining point of that game. The the, the combat, uh, I don't know, it just lacked that impact that that the first one had. But the parkour was really the only shining part of it. Like they, it's like they took their time polishing the combat, no polishing the parkour, but except as but except other stuff and they fell short the story was not engaging at all even from the beginning now a now Aiden does he, he has a good job but he's not memorable the villain Walt is forgettable and stuff Lawan she's she's only in the game and like in a couple scenes and it's just like that's it but most of the characters are just weak and stuff. The story is very weak. No something no something's terrible villain. It's I mean the I mean the I mean, the first time like didn't have didn't have a great story either. So I didn't think that the, I didn't think that, that the story he'll be more better. But the way that they was talking about it that you know your choice you no know, they're gonna have more RPG mechanics of that that you can choose like your ending and, and how the city shapes. That doesn't happen in this game and stuff. Your choices matter shit. 
your, your choices does not matter in this game as much as you think or what they told you and stuff because it doesn't because you can have the same outcome and if you choose something the game the, the character was like we can't do that I don't, i'm gonna do this at anyway so what was the fucking point of me choosing that path if the characters don't want me to go down that path and they pick that path for me where's where's the rpg in that like my choices but then my, my choices get pushed aside because the game tells me no this is the wrong choice do this way and i i didn't like it so the story for me was the weakest part of the game like at the end i was just like man and the, it was so many aspects of the of the affected how they look like the fact they have more detail in the first one and stuff compared to now now there are some cooler affected but you know like the, the detail wise but i think i i just feel like the detail and dying light one had more and stuff it just had more to it like like the fact they all look the same here did they, they, they all they all look really like composed and stuff like 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 really threatening and stuff the nighttime was a let a complete letdown because the the volatiles but now they of course they patched it and stuff like that but i'm uh, 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 speaking in launch and stuff there was no volatiles at night at all like the only time the deed they would show up is if you got into a chase and i who whoever designed that chase mechanic like like it's gta like it, 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 it's like a star system come on now we're not we're not playing gta we're playing a zombie game and stuff so the fact that they they made you only see those runner types of zombies and stuff and their volatiles when you was in a chase and stuff and you had to level up all that all the way to chase i think three and four then you can see them while they're chasing you that shit was so corny and i was just like damn like th this is bad then and the nighttime wasn't at was bright as shit in, in the city like it, it had no atmosphere and stuff so it just it, it, it gave a little like the, the nighttime felt like less threatened than it was in the first one the first one was pitch black you couldn't see nothing and the volatiles were out and stuff just roaming around the special effect the, the, the special effect that was rolling just roaming around and it and it, 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 it was amazing because it immersed you into the world you had to go run to a zombie and run around run around and run around just to fill up a chase meter to get to star four like four stars and stuff and then get and and, and then get them no they were just there behind you from the start so a lot of features and stuff and a lot of changes that they did that, that, that they made i didn't agree with and stuff but putting that all aside and stuff they did patch a lot of stuff they did patch a lot of stuff and the point of this video is and stuff i've been playing the new uh dlc uh blood ties and stuff i just started playing it um uh, right after ragnarok and stuff and yes yes I, I, of course i already had it like like pre-installed because you know i bought the color edition and stuff but <sighs> again this dlc was a letdown and stuff from what i played so far it was a letdown the just it's just the characters and the story it just it doesn't grip you and stuff and i see so many people saying well the story is kind of better than than the base game Are we playing the same game? Because this, 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 this ain't no play tales. This, 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 this is literally poor writing and now design. But the DLC is basically like you, you, you enter this combat arena, and you know, and basically complete challenges and, and stuff fight to climb your way to the top and stuff to, to become the champion of carnage hall and stuff you know that's the new location and stuff you know it, it, it's basically like a like a, a, a arena like style update and stuff compared it um it from um 
Uh, what was the first update for uh, Dying Light 1? I, I think it was the, uh, the, the, the bio uh, 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 challenge stuff. You no, know, I'm in the, in, in the stadium. That's what I got and stuff. But this one was completely worse and stuff. Like, everything kind of still the same. Yes, the nighttime does look a little bit darker and stuff. But there's still not really no special... No, um, a, a special effect to roam the streets at night. My gripes still say the same, and my stance still say the same that this Dying Light 2 was a letdown compared to the first one and stuff. I, I was really looking forward to this game so much, but it doesn't, it, it can't live up to what, you know, what I wanted and stuff, and and, and it didn't. Now, I love, the, I, I, I love the parkour, that, that, that that's the start of the game. The, the combat is okay, but everything else just falls flat and stuff. And this story and this DLC, uh, it, it it just doesn't do it for me. It doesn't do it for me. But no, just let me know and stuff like that. What do you guys think about Dying Light 2 and stuff? Getting literally the Spider-Man Ratchet and Clank ripped apart treatment and stuff. You no, know, you know, do, do you feel mad because you know this game did, didn't get recognized or nominated for any game of the war any game uh the year categories and stuff None, i'm surprised not even one and that's that's saying something like this game came out and people forgot about it and because if horizon can get if horizon to can can get recognized and and really people are are all, all, all talk about God War right now or Elder Ring? Then this game gets left and pop left behind. It, it, it just tells you something like literally Stray beat this game for a nomination. Stray is better than this game. A cat game is better than Dying Light 2. Hey. To each his own and stuff like that. But yeah, but if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, which video I could channel so 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 much. Well, Aiden, it looks like you have a lot of improvement because your this first DLC was not it. And stuff. I hope that this game gets better over time. It's going to you go in the right direction. But right now, I gotta put you down and stuff and Keep you hidden and stuff until you until you get better and stuff if you get better i don't know if we get better and stuff i don't, I don't know yet but yeah guys until next time stay safe take it easy peace